in the past. We are basically Democrats, all of us. And after what's happened the last four years in this country, they Democrats are basically pushing everybody to the other side. We're a very patriotic group and we love our country and we want the best for America. We are tired of immigration. We're tired of our tax got dollars going to immigration. We're tired of the crime. We need to put a handle on things in this country and bring it back to how it should be. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you ought to know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, party people, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man, you know, there's one thing I learned by watching Donald Trump the last couple of years that if life give you lemons, you make lemonade, right? I know you heard this before. But this guy here is, is unstoppable. You see in New York, we have the lawyers, Letitia James and fat ass Alvin Bragg trying to stop the guy by not campaigning. They try to stop him. They try to break his pockets. And instead of doing that, instead of folding like regular people would, like regular ordinary Republicans, like the old Republicans that we had, this guy is relentless. He won't stop. So on his way to court the other day, on his way to court, he stops by. He sees a construction crew. Not his own construction crew because he's not building nothing in New York. He sees another construction crew and he stops by and say hi. And let's take a look. Look at this crowd of folks, of union people. Union people are mostly Democrats. All right. This is blue New York. And I know you. I got you trolls out there who's going to say this is stage. This is not stage. This is impromptu, spontaneous. On the way to court, he stops by and he sees a group of union workers. And he says hi to the folks. talk to reporters unlike Joe Biden. Joe Biden can't do this. Now look at the last time Joe Biden has talked to somebody in a hard hat. This was a couple of years ago and let's take a listen. Powers under the Trump administration. I'd like you to explain how you plan to not only keep us working, but how you intend on getting the union vote when there is a large portion of the union workers that are gun enthusiasts and you are actively trying to diminish our Second Amendment right and take away our guns. You're full of All right, thank you. Now, guys. Now, shush. Shush. I support the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment, just like right now, if you yell fire, that's not free speech. And from the very beginning, I have a shotgun, I have a 20 gauge, a 12 gauge, my son's hunt. Guess what? You're not allowed to own any weapon. I'm not taking your gun away at all. 
You need 100 rounds. You when you were in Beto, no. when you said you're going to take our guns, that I did blood. not say that. That's did. not true. I did it's not say that. It's a viral video. Well, it's a viral video like the other ones are putting out that are simply it was a lie. Your, your voice, you said that you're taking the gun. Well, well he just Beto. clarified it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. The the take the AR, your AR-14s. Okay, right. this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Hey, let's you don't tell me this. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys. You're working for me, man. I'm not working. Hold on. Give me a break, man. Don't be such a horse. You're up on me. Hey, there's a lot of guys. Hey, hey, hey. Look, here's the deal. There's the deal. Are you, are you able to own a, a machine gun? I said, are you able to own one? I'm going to go off. That's right. So AR-15's illegal. How is that in the machine gun? No, it's not. Yeah, do you need 100 rounds? Do you need 100 rounds? in America from handguns than there are what you Oh, wow. Why are you advocating for a gun? Remember, they dropped After that. Yeah, there you go. That's Joe right there. Mr. Petulant right there. He's poking his finger in the dude's chest. And the guy, the union worker said, hey, sir, this is not cool what you're doing right here. And talk to him like, man, you can't poke at me like that. You work for me. But no, Joe Biden is like, I don't work for you. You see this guy? He doesn't respect the blue collar workers. But he always like to talk about he's from Pennsylvania and, you know, the union workers. Matter of fact, he was in um, Tampa talking to union workers and let's take a look at this, his crowd. And increase economic growth. Folks, imagine what we can do next. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. Pause. Four more years. 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 Wow. You see the stark difference? This is Joe Biden over here with the oh, union workers. And we're going to make sure. Barely nobody showed up. And look at Donald Trump, impromptu, spontaneous, on his way to court. He does a campaign rally. And this is why they want to stop him. Because they know if he starts touring the city to see city like he did before, he's going to shut it down. He's going to fill stadiums. You're telling me that Joe Biden, this is the same Joe Biden, he campaigned the same way last time. 2020, you're telling me that he won 81 million votes? What's it like seeing so many Republicans in Manhattan, so many Trump supporters in Manhattan? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It's turning now. Trump's turn again. What's your message to Joe Biden? Fuck you. Now look at the last time that Joe Biden visited New York City when him, uh, Obama, and Clinton raised 25 million. They had protesters outside of the venue. A uh, huge protest. There was more protests outside than there were inside the venue. Right now, look at Donald Trump, an impromptu, and there's no protesters over here, none. It's all love over here, all love. And you telling me this guy, Joe Biden, won more votes? I'm still not convinced by that. Can't do that. You guys do not wait till November to vote. All right. If your state is one of the states that can vote early, make sure you vote early and bring a friend. If you decide to vote by mail, mail it in early, send it in, and make sure you get some kind of trail, all right? Because this election is too big to rig. Oh, Lord, can't wait for November. Anyway, that's my thought for the day, guys. If you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get off my lawn.